Hey Couture Bays, it's your girl Britt Brett going live with the Bree Talk and we have to talk about y'all favorite holy ho, Pastor John Gray cheating on his wife yet again, again, again. Child, this is messy. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Shout out to all the bays who are shopping using our discount code with Blended Roots and Be Fit. Make sure you check out the additional discount codes I have with <laughs> Pretty Little Things and Fashion Nova. Make sure you get you a good deal. Shop till you drop. All in the description bar. Now let's get into this mess. Uh, she does not, um, and you know more than most, but I speak out of honor because honor covers, but when things hit the fan, it is my hope that you will cover me in prayer. Ain't that right, son? What do you eat every day? Pizza. Pizza in the oven from DiGiorno's. Cause that's what you have to do to feed when ain't nobody cooking. And that's the truth, Ruth. But I saw what you did there, Mary. I saw what you did. You got an hour to get ready. We're going to Cabo. So bring your mask and your favorite two piece, cause we out. You know what you could do? You could send the Cancun pic or pics from Cancun. That would serve to satisfy the fake bet, which you've already been compensated for. What's that? And brisket. How about that? Your own brisket and we're doing baked beans with the hamburger meat, mashed potatoes. We do some fresh corn. I don't know if any of this, are, any of these are vegetables or sides that you want. But if you want other sides, all you got to do is let me know. See what I'm saying? Chef John. So here's y'all favorite holy ho out here getting this woman to show her breast or something for $200. Y'all know it's a pandemic. She was looking at that $200 like the stimulus check didn't come in. So she do it, and of course, we're sitting back like, girl, really? This is a mess. They do not make pastas like they used to. Child, this is uh, not the work of the Lord. So this is what she had to say. This was about five days ago. She has not released a statement since the world found out. She's getting cheated on again child this is a mess listen i don't promote people divorcing but this man does not want you i do not believe pastor john gray is the husband god has designed in his image for her and here's why the wife that i chose is better than the man that i am i married a woman two sizes too big i have to grow into aventer she's a coat i still can't fit her she's bigger than me and she's had to cover me while i grow up I gotta grow into her. But she's a covering. She's a covering, I not a lid. Ooh, because if a man marries a lid, she'll stop your dream. But if you marry a covering, she'll push you to your destiny. Now I'm about to shout and tear this whole thing up. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Let me tell you something. My my wife has endured more pain birthing me than both of our children. She has sacrificed these last eight years uncovering the painful areas of my manhood and covering the areas that could have exposed me. She deserves anything I can give her. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. I'm gonna live the rest of my life to honor her because she gave me what I couldn't give myself, which is a chance to heal while still seeing the God in See y'all, I'm about to go in. Does this man look like he's ever missed a meal in his life? In his life. When he married her, he knew she wasn't cooking. See, this is what I don't like about adulterers because they make excuses for their cheating instead of owning it. Sir, you are cheating on your wife because you want to cheat on your wife. It has nothing to do with her cooking pizza every day. It has nothing to do with her not being the woman you feel you deserve. Leave her. Ladies, this is the epitome of an effeminate 
low down, low vibrational, inadequate man. And this is supposed to be a parishioner of a church. He's in the pulpit preaching the word of God, leading people to the pits of hell. If that ain't ass backwards, I don't know what it is. There's no way I would follow a man like this. And people were like, pray for him. Pray for him. I'm not about to waste my prayer on a man who does not want to change. He does not want to change. He was way too comfortable discussing his issues with his wife with someone else. Did he ever think maybe my wife is not cooking for me because she might poison me because I steadily embarrassed her all the time because I can't leave these hoes alone? Instead of Christian mingling with my pain, I should just file for a divorce so I can be happy and my wife can be happy. He never thought about that. He never thought about that. That's modern pipping 101. The devil made me do it. I will never forget when she was out here standing next to him and they were discussing how they were about to get a divorce and she said he was entertaining them women because the 16 year old boy who never had women like this was lashing out. No ma'am. This is a grown ass man with two kids with you. You have a daughter and a son. You as the mother have a sole responsibility to protect your children from all harm. Even if it means the man you birthed them with. Because at this point he is no longer protecting you. He is breaking every vow. And to the women who are devout Christians who practice the word of God or whatever you believe in. Nowhere in the Bible does it say accept your man for the cheater he is. Isn't it amazing that we have to go out as women to pray for our men who just can't do right? Could you imagine if she was out here entertaining men, sleeping around, sending money, send me a dick pic. Let me see that hard chest, baby. Show mama something. I'll come cook you some collard greens from scratch with a sweet potato pie. Because my man don't cook. Could you imagine? But we live in a world where it's okay for these pastors to go out and sleep around and make kids and just desecrating the word of God. A mess. A complete and utter mess. Yes, I want her to take some accountability, but I already told y'all she lacks self-worth and self-esteem. And I'm truly going to pray for her because at this point, something needs to shake. Because she refuses to leave. And behavior like this will have you either in the hospital or the morgue. But those are my thoughts. What are y'all thoughts on this? Are y'all praying for them? Have you experienced anything like this? Have you ever seen a man be on FaceTime while he was cheating on his wife? I mean, Lord, they are both in 2020. Comment down below and I gotta go. Bye, hoes.